All right, uh, welcome back to Mr. JDM. Today we're going to work on the Beagle. Uh, we got a couple problems. Uh, number one, when I first start the car, it kind of has a mess until about, I don't know, 50 feet down the street, then it clears up. And the other issue is, it at times it overheats and the radiator becomes low. So, I don't think it's leaking. I think I have a blown head gasket. Um, which would explain the, the miss. But also, we have a problem with that. So, the valve cover gasket is leaking oil. And then, plus it's all wet down here. So, we've got a new valve cover gasket and we're going to fix that but I think ultimately we're going to have to pull the head off and uh, replace the head gasket now I have not let it overheat completely I can tell like when I'm driving um, you know the temperature starts creeping up so I'll pull over and I'll add water to the radiator and then it's fine um, it just it it slowly leaks somewhere or it's being um, uh, burned because it's leaking into the combustion chamber now there's no oil getting into the antifreeze so that is not an issue um, but I do believe I do have a blown head gasket which that sucks let's pull all these out and get this valve cover off and it seems to be all of them which that sucks you have to get the breather thing off You know what, let's just start on screwing the valve cover. And because it's right-hand drive, we have the, um, the throttle cable that goes around. On the valve cover, Let me get a screwdriver. I mean, really? Why is that so difficult to get off? There we go. Well, as you can see, we do have some antifreeze getting into the oil. So that sucks. Let's pull our plugs out. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna replace the valve cover gasket. And um, because I don't drive my car very much, I basically go to the grocery store, you know, once or twice a week and I pick up my daughter from work or take her and pick her up from work, um, you know, like three days a week. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to spend my time and get the red wagon back on the road because there ain't much that needs to be done to get her back on the road. But replacing the head gasket, I mean, yeah, it's not a whole lot of work, but it, it's a lot of work. And I would rather park 
the Beagle and drive the Red Wagon and just get working on this. I mean, obviously, once I finish the B20 rebuild, because I still need to do that. But because I want to put the dual cam ZC in this car, and I don't feel like it's worth the time to replace the head gasket when I'm just going to drop a new engine in this car anyway. I mean, this thing's full of oil. What did I do? There it is. But yeah, I think I'm just going to get I think I'm just going to replace the, uh, the valve cover gasket that way this right, right right here won't be an issue and you know I drive it sparingly anyway work on the red wagon and then once I'm done with the b20 pull this engine and rebuild and drop in the uh, dual cam ZC the dual cam ZZ I have needs a, a crank anyway. And so I'll just pull the crank from this engine and stick it in that one. Let's clean out these uh, tubes, which I know most of it just ran down into the cylinder. Let's get the uh, valve cover cleaned off and replace the gaskets on that. These little O-rings here and then this one. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Because my head gasket is definitely blown and I wanna try to extend it um, just a little bit longer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna torque the head bolts. It's uh, 46 pounds and I'm gonna try the head gasket um, sealer stuff. I don't think it's gonna work, but I need to get an extension. So yeah, I know it's dumb, but I'm going to try the head gasket sealer, and it probably won't work, but I'm going to test it out. Why not? Alright, we got our new gasket on there, and I always put some gasket sealer on the edges and inside on these pieces right here. And we have new uh, gaskets for the bolts. Get our spark plugs back in place. And next we get our plug wires. Alright, now let's add some water because it is definitely low.
Okay, and now let's start her up, make sure she starts. She's pretty smoky, but it could be the oil. Yeah, and my uh, dipstick, the end of it broke. It's the same as a D15, so we'll use from a D15. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's oil in there, or water in the oil, but the valve cover show, showed that it did. So it's just a small leak, I guess. Let's add some oil. Okay, so um, we definitely have a blown head gasket, which that sucks, but again, I think I'm just going to put the uh, head gasket sealer in it. I mean, I know it doesn't work, or it, it may work, I don't know. And it's not really good for your engine. <clears throat> But again, I'm going to pull the engine out and uh, put a dual cam ZC in the Beagle. So hopefully it'll be uh, just a temporary thing and it will work temporarily long enough to get the Red Wagon running because <coughs> the Red Wagon will be my daily driver um, until I get the Beagle uh motor swap and I want to paint the Beagle so that is definitely on the agenda um, obviously once I get so I really need to get this engine done and get this car back on the road but uh, I need to get off my ass and just do it um, the engines almost done um, the transmission I don't know I think I'm just gonna throw that on there and we'll use it as is and when it goes out it goes out we'll just find a new one or I'll go to the junkyard and find one, tear it down, see if I can rebuild it, see if my brain is smart enough to figure it out. Because the rebuild kit for automatic transmissions are like 170 bucks, um, and that's, that's pretty cheap, especially if I can do it myself. Now I know there's a lot of tolerances and weird stuff that I just don't understand, I guess, but maybe it is just, you know, a straight, easy, um, rebuild who knows i don't know anything about manual or automatic transmissions so we're just going to put this on there i'm going to get one from the junkyard i'm going to tear it apart and we'll see if i'm smart enough to rebuild it but we definitely have other stuff to do on this car um, i've got all new brakes and pads front and back on the way and i need to do some interior work, get the radio and the air con, the auto air con back in, the glove box, and I need to find new seats for the driver and passenger side because they're not in great shape. The back part is, but the bottom isn't. So I think there's a set in the junkyard that I can grab, but I don't know. I don't know the condition. The rear seats are in good shape, so we're not real worried about that. Now, I was originally going to put the, uh, the factory intake manifold back on this, but I think I'm just going to put the Skunk 2 on there. Um, I don't know why. I, it, it, it may change. Who knows? But I need to get 
but I need to get off my ass and get the uh, first gen CRV done, the B20 build done, and get that back on the road so then I can work on the red wagon and get that on the road and make it my daily. So I, my time is very limited. I don't know how much time the Beagle has left. Um, if I would have to guess, it's not very long. So we need to get back on this and get it done quickly but the red wagon i just need to get like the, the marker lights back in um i think there's some interior work and she runs kind of rough but i think it's just it's just dumb shit it's just tuning um it needs fresh gas and you know it just i think it's just simple dumb shit to get her back on the road and obviously i need to pull these wheels and put them back on her because the wheels that are on it we're on the, the the beagle and those tires are in bad bad shape so there's a few things that needs to be done but overall um, i don't think the beagle has much time left in her that head gasket's done we're going to try to extend the life with head gasket sealer but i don't foresee that actually working so anyway this was a quick video um sorry just an update on everything um, I've had some barriers in life that have stopped me from getting things done and also I'm lazy so there's that but I am pushed for time because the Beagle doesn't have much of it left and so we're going to get back working on it ASAP so anyway uh, if you're interested in watching future videos or previous videos please subscribe I would really appreciate it and if you made it this far uh, type Beagle in the chat, and I'll see you all in the next video.